In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, you will learn 20 essential tracing tips. I'll show you methods that will boost your tracing speed and will allow you to quickly bring your sketches to life and fully concentrate only on creative parts. You'll see interesting tool combinations and will learn how to use Pen tool, Scissors tool, Shape Builder tool, Outline and Divide from Pathfinder, how to pick colors and much more. You can also download my sketch and try everything that I will show you in this video. By the end of this tutorial you will discover amazing tracing methods that you will be able to use in each illustration that you will create. You are watching TNT tutorials? Let's move on! You might have questions about some tips that I will show you, so just watch this video to the final step and you will boost your tracing speed and have all the answers. To place sketch to workspace, click here on File. Place and find path to download the sketch. To adjust artboard to sketch size, press Shift plus O and adjust it like this. Then select Sketch, Properties and Decrease Opacity. After this lock sketch layer and create new layer for tracing. Select Fill color icon and click on None. Simplify everything when you have a lot of details as you can see here. Trace main shape first and then trace all details. P for pen tool, trace with sharp corners, like this. After this press A for direct selection tool, pick needed point, make sure that you have selected only one point, and drag this dot. You can move points using direct selection tool. I don't think I need any roundness here, so let's simply pick this point, move it with direct selection tool, and then round corner. P for pen tool again, and let's trace details. To draw straight line you can hold shift and to stop drawing current line and create new one simply hold ctrl or command and click somewhere. Let's create new object, hold ctrl, click somewhere and continue. To trace sketch in the same way as I will show you today, remember about overlapping. Overlapping will guarantee successful final result. So don't try to fit anything and precisely draw lines from one line to another. We need to trace everything extremely fast. And if you will work fast and will try to fit everything, you can make mistake. Your line can be drawn like this. So to make sure that you will do everything correctly, simply overlap. In this case, we don't want these lines to go through this object. Press C for scissors tool and cut line like this. Then pick this part and delete it. The same here. We also need to cut this line. C for scissors tool. Let's cut it here. V for selection tool. Pick this part and delete it. Sometimes, not often, you can use direct selection tool to move points a bit. Just make sure that these points will snap to line. Drag point and you can see this snapping. You can use this tip simply to avoid confusion in places where you have a lot of lines. Use simple shapes in tracing, press L for ellipse tool, hold shift, draw ellipse, don't release shift, don't release left mouse button, hold space bar also, and you will be able to move this ellipse like this. Adjust size, P for pen tool again, let's create line from central point of this ellipse, now let's select these objects, hold alt, duplicate them here, and press ctrl plus D. You can press Ctrl plus D as many times as you need. When you are getting distracted with other lines, as you can see, I can't simply trace these lines, because this point will attach to this point. Simply lock all layers that you have already created. Press Ctrl or Command plus A and then Ctrl plus 2. Now there is nothing that can distract you. P for pen tool. Let's start with this point. Let's hold Alt and connect these points because we need sharp corner here. After you will finish, simply press Ctrl or Command plus Alt or Option key and 2. So you will have Ctrl plus Alt plus 2 and all layers will be unlocked. Let's simply follow sketch. We can start with this point, sharp corner here also. Let's hold Ctrl, click somewhere. Remember about overlapping. A for direct selection tool, let's pick this point and round this corner. Let's draw line here, press Ctrl, click somewhere 
Press V for selection tool, hold Alt, duplicate this line, select them both, hold Alt, duplicate them here and rotate them. Honestly, sometimes it's easier simply just to trace other lines. When you want to trace with sharp corners quickly and you want to match reference lines, simply use Ctrl Z until you will find needed direction. For example, we will start with this point. I didn't match. Ctrl plus Z. Ctrl plus Z again. As you can see, you can change angle very quickly. You don't need to delete line and start all over again. We don't need to trace these objects again. Let's simply pick them here. V for selection tool. Hold Shift. Select them. If you will accidentally select unneeded line, simply hold Shift again and click on unneeded line. Now let's press Ctrl plus C. I use spacebar to navigate. Now as we are here, press Ctrl plus V. Let's rotate these objects. We want these two objects to look different than these ones. So first of all let's pick them. Press R for rotate tool. Rotate tool is over here. Then simply click here on this point and rotate these objects like this. After this A for direct selection tool, play with handles, move points and change these lines. A for direct selection tool, let's round this corner, this one also. Remember about scissors tool, we need to make cuts here. If you will see this warning when you will use scissors tool, simply press OK and cut line somewhere else. I know that right now you really don't understand why we cut lines in such places. But you will understand everything on final steps. Sketch might seem very complicated here, but it only can seem complicated. Let's press L for ellipse tool. Ellipse tool is over here. I press F to change screen mode. So we have one ellipse here. I will duplicate this ellipse. Change proportions. Duplicate it again. Now let's cut this line. We need to cut this line also. Let's continue. Use direct selection tool to move points. Play with handles. As you can see we don't have overlapping here. So let's move this point until it will snap to this line. Or use another tip that can also save your time. Select all these objects. Shift plus M for shape builder. You can find shape builder here. Hold Alt and simply cut this line. If you did something wrong, simply press Ctrl plus Z and try again. In such places, when you have a lot of crossings, you can select all lines and take a look here. We don't need crossings like this. They might cause some problems. So I will simply pick this shape, move it down a bit to get this result. Shift plus M and I will cut lines. I don't do this very often, only in some specific cases. We don't want line here. Let's simply cut it. Let's trace hair. To start from this line and build sharp corner, hold Alt, move handles and draw line. Make sharp corners here also. Then A for direct selection tool and round them. Let's cut this line here. If you're too close to sketch and you've already started new line, simply hold Alt or Option key and you scroll. After this you can continue. I can use direct selection tool, pick these points and move them. Let's use ellipse tool here also. Adjust size and then use scissors tool. To trace arms, we need combination of tips that you've learned today. P for pen tool. I will drag handles from this point. Then simply make sharp corner here. Then create point here. Drag handles just a little. A for direct selection tool. And move handles. P for pen tool again. Hold Alt. Move this handle. And do the same. Fast and easy. Sometimes you might need to experiment a bit. We can trace like this. Or we can create points here. And match sketch better. Then you can try to delete some points. Simply click on this point with pen tool. A for direct selection tool. And adjust handles. As you can see we didn't need that point at all. But it helped us to build this line. Pen tool. Let's drag handles from this point again. And continue. Let's round corner. 
I don't think we need these points. We can delete these points also. Ideally, you should have as less points as you can. Now P for pen tool. And let's simply start from this point. Hold Ctrl, click somewhere. Do the same. Then make some overlap in here. Only three points for this object. Let's move it a little, rotate it. This arm is more complicated. Let's start from this point. Hold Ctrl, click somewhere. Use Direct Selection tool to move lines. Sometimes it's easier to draw soft lines than lines with sharp corners. Here we will create sharp corners. A for Direct Selection tool. We can duplicate this one. Adjust it. A for Direct Selection tool. You can select point and press delete. We don't need line here. In this case, we can start right from this point and end in this point. To quickly check if everything's correct before we will move on with next step, let's press Ctrl plus A, select all lines, then press Shift plus M for Shape Builder tool, let's press Enter. Make sure that you have the same options here in Highlight, click OK, and after this highlight objects. Simply highlight them with Shape Builder tool, and if something is not highlighted, as you can see here, this object is not highlighted, you should use Direct Selection tool, and make sure that you will have overlapping. Let's press Ctrl plus A again, Shift plus M, and now everything is correct. I had mistake here. That's what I told you about. You can think that this point snaps to this line, but nothing like that. So to make sure that everything will work for you, for sure, make overlapping. You can overlap lines just a little, like this, and it will work for you. So just pick Shape Builder tool and quickly move through all objects. You can skip this step if you are sure that everything's fine, if you overlapped all lines and you are sure that all final points are snapping to lines, if they are not overlapping them. Let's press Ctrl or Command plus Alt or Option key plus 2, just to make sure that everything is unlocked. Then let's press Ctrl or Command plus A, Properties, Pathfinder, click here for more options, and select Outline. Click somewhere to deselect selection. Now let's select this area to pick this group, select Stroke, and apply some color. You can always decrease stroke width if you feel uncomfortable with bold lines. What you need to do on this step is to pick this group and press Ctrl or Command plus Shift plus G to ungroup everything. After this, use Selection tool, pick unneeded lines and delete them. You can pick some lines with Selection tool and sometimes use Lasso tool. Press Q. You can find Lasso tool right here. Select needed lines and delete them. As you can see here, Sometimes you will need to press delete twice to delete all points from that lines. You don't need additional selecting, just quickly pick lines and delete them. To pick them properly, you basically should select final points. Let's select these two. I will select these three. And after this you will have clean tracing, like this. Sometimes you can select a lot of points at once. Let's select these ones. I told you to cut lines in this part to have ability to quickly select them with less so too and delete them like this. Because I personally don't like to switch between less so tool and selection tool. You can also hold shift. Select points all around without pressing delete. With this tip you will work even faster. You won't waste time to press delete each time. Let's delete these lines. 
press delete twice now v for selection tool delete this part let's zoom in delete this part also for now you won't need other wheels you will need only one and then you will duplicate it after you will delete all unneeded lines let's rename this layer to lines for use then duplicate this layer hold alt rename this layer to lines backup i will move lines backup up then duplicate lines for use once again and rename this layer to colors now let's lock these two layers make them invisible now we will work only in colors layer let's create rectangle swatch as panel let's select none for stroke select fill pick some color press ctrl or command plus shift plus left brackets to bring this layer down now press ctrl plus a to select all layers properties pathfinder more options and select divide after this simply click somewhere to deselect this area then select it press ctrl or command plus shift plus g to ungroup everything then deselect this area again let's pick this surrounding fill delete it something might be missing so don't worry to see what's missing better and faster make lines for use visible let's check out we have missing part here and here this is not problem at all let's lock colors layer unlock lines for use we have only lines for use layer unlocked let's press ctrl plus a we've selected all lines then press shift plus m for shape builder tool simply click here and here now we have these areas as objects so let's pick this one this one press ctrl plus c to copy them lock lines for use layer unlock colors simply press ctrl plus shift plus v i for eyedropper tool and simply pick needed color let's make lines for use layer invisible and as you can see we have color everywhere we need that will happen not always only sometimes you might still have some objects grouped just use shape builder to delete unneeded parts now as we see that everything will work for us we can make lines for use visible unlock it for now select it properties and you will be able to play with stroke width anytime this is very handy you can experiment with stroke width after you will apply colors let's lock this layer for now and we will work only with colors layer what you should do now is to simply pick shapes and apply color we don't need color here you can pick a few shapes at once and apply any color that you want click here on color icon you can create background bring it down then simply lock background to play with color combinations unlock lines for use shift plus o hold alt and duplicate this artboard you can create one more artboard then shift plus o select three of them duplicate them again after this window color themes click here on explore you will have a lot of color combinations here if you will like some of them you can click here add to swatches and you will have it in your swatches panel after this all that you will need to do is to simply adjust colors to your illustration here is also one more tip for you to quickly adjust colors press ctrl plus a to select everything then hold shift deselect area that you don't want to lock then press ctrl plus 2 everything is locked now you can work only with this layer press y for magic wand tool press enter you won't need to press enter each time only first time change tolerance to zero and make sure that only fill color is selected close this panel after this simply click on this color and all objects with this color 
will be selected. Let's apply new color. After this, simply press Ctrl or Command plus Alt or Option key plus 2. You will unlock all layers and you will be able to do the same. After you will decide which color to choose, you can simply select all unneeded examples, delete them, Shift plus O, select unneeded artboards, delete them also, V for selection tool, create new layer, rename it to backup, select these two layers, hold Alt and bring them to backup layer. After this simply lock backup layer and hide it. Then select lines for use, object, expand. Click OK. After this properties, pathfinder, unite. You have most of these lines united in one line. And what's most important, they are not lines anymore, they are an object. We have only objects in this scene, so no one will be able to change stroke width after this. You don't have open paths. You can scale this image as you want and nothing will be changed. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below. Let me know if everything was clear enough for you and what you liked about this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important, by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you will click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.